Hi, this is Ellen. Welcome back to my channel, and I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Um, I wanted to chat with you guys all about kind of swollen face, puffy eyes, basically this inflammation that is in our body that, um, and you know, di for different reasons, and we'll talk about that, but causes our face to be kind of puffy and swollen and our under eyes to be puffy and swollen. So if you want to know some of my tips on that, hang in there with me. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button, share this video somebody you think might like it, and let's do it. All right, so there can be many reasons for overall puffy skin, swollen skin, you know, especially the under eye area. Um, you know, there could be lack of sleep, lifestyle, um, uh, allergies. Um, I mean, there's just hereditary uh, issues, uh, gut issues, lack of, um, of like a vitamin imbalances. I mean, there are just so many reasons. For me, I actually do suffer from quite a bit of swollenness in this area right here. And it does happen a lot during the change of seasons. I have terrible allergies um, and I've always had them and I have a tendency to rub my eyes a lot. You can actually hear in my throat. My nose is constantly stuffy and I do not love to take um, really any like everyday antihistamines for them. And so I want to share with you some of my, you know, topical hacks and some things that you can might take internally as far as vitamins to help combat that. First of all, a couple easy things is you need to make sure you're drinking a lot of water. Make sure that you are um, hydrating. Make sure that you are being active and um, make sure you get enough sleep. Um, the puffiness is is definitely can be helped by making sure that those things become a priority in your life. Um, now, for a lot of us, they just don't fix anything. Um, a lot of topical products promise you the world. And I'll just be so honest with you. I don't really know of a ton of topical products, especially for the under eyes that really are going to get, you know, rid of like fat deposits here, right? They're called like fat pads. Those probably need to be addressed by a professional. Okay. And those are something different. That's it's something that's um, different than what we're talking about here. This is basically swollen puffiness that kind of fluctuates throughout the year. Again, mine are more um, allergy driven. Sometimes I wake up and my eyes are so swollen that I can't really see very well. And it takes me several things to do to kind of relieve that. Um, always, obviously, you can take an antihistamine that will calm that histamine reaction in your body and will help reduce the swelling in the face and in the eye area. Um, I do, I just get so much swelling through, through this area when I'm having a really bad allergy day. Um, and I know a lot of you guys suffer from this for different reasons. Some of the other things that I like to use, and these are just my professional ones. I have blue ones um, upstairs. I keep these in my cosmetic fridge. Um, I also keep it in my regular fridge sometimes if I have too many products in my cosmetic fridge. Um, and I'll leave all the brands below if you guys want to check them out. But basically, these are called ice globes or water globes. Um, they are filled with water and you put them in the refrigerator, not the freezer, the refrigerator. And in the mornings, when I'm feeling like this, what I do is I roll them all over my face for probably five to 10 minutes all around the face. It feels so good. Even on hot days, they feel really, really good. If you're going through a, a hot flash, they're really fantastic. They're also great for a lot of other things, skin tightening and um, overall inflammation, things like that. But for the puffiness, and I let them kind of sit under the eyes for a little while to let them kind of open up. I even put them like this on my eyes and just reduce that swelling. Obviously, there's nothing in here topically that is going to reduce the swelling, but it's all about introduction of that cold that is obviously, as we know, throughout the body, if we hurt an ankle or whatever, you put ice on it, same thing applies. So you want to make sure that you're trying your best to uh, a place cold on the skin to really bring down that swelling. Obviously, you can put spoons in the refrigerator. You can put tea bags in the refrigerator. You can make ice um, out of green tea and calamine tea and then kind of just rub that all around the face and that will really help with that swelling and puffiness. 
So you absolutely don't have to spend a ton of money on something that you, you know, like this. This is actually pretty inexpensive. But you can also do it with um, at-home remedies like a spoons. I, I used to actually carry spoons and pop them in the fridge on set um, for my clients. And then I'd pull them out and then put them on the eyes. And uh, it would reduce that puffiness and swelling quite considerably, um, honestly. And it kind of tightens that area up and um, you know, really helps with that puffiness and swelling under the eyes. Also, I highly recommend keeping eye masks. These are just some of my favorites. There's so many out there. Don't get hung up on the brands. Um, this one's by Tatcha. This is the Tatcha Luminous Deep Hydration Revitalizing Eye Patches. Uh, this one's by Lemieux. This is their uh, TGFB Eye Firming Masks. Keep these in the fridge. Also keeping sheet masks in the fridge and just placing that over the face will really help with that inflammation. Um, you can also take your jade roller that, or this is my rose quartz roller. I, I prefer that because the stone for me resonates with me. Um, but I keep this in the fridge sometimes and you can also do your lymphatic drainage. If you guys have not seen my video on lymphatic drainage, just type in lymphatic drainage L Leary into the search bar and it'll pop up. This is really, 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 really helpful for moving that fluid out of the face in through the lymph so it can be released into the rest of the body and obviously, you know, released. So uh, these are fantastic. It's a very light pressure, feels really good. But again, it's all about that kind of moving the fluid out of the face and out of the body and then applying cold uh, packs onto the face um, no matter what they might be I just don't think you need to spend a ton of money on these things uh, because they all can be done pretty simply but these are just my favorite products to be using for this now there are uh, there are eye creams and face creams specifically more eye creams because a lot of us deal with puffiness around that eye area that will promise you the world and they'll I'm I, that's why when anybody asks me I mean I get this asked a lot of me eye creams to reduce puffiness it's just there is so many things that go into it um they're just not a lot on the market that really do it but if you're going to look it out for this is to look for an eye cream and everybody will tell you this is not new information but just to remind you caffeine will restrict the blood vessels and will help reduce that puffiness so any eye cream of no matter what price point you want just needs to, um, you know, put in there some eye cream. I mean, some, um, you need to have an ingredient in there, caffeine. We want caffeine to be higher up on the ingredient list um, so we know that it's in there at a therapeutic level. You also can, uh, you know, put your, any of your eye serums or eye creams in your cosmetic fridge or in your regular fridge, and, um, and that will help with the cooling sensation again. And that, for those, it's not necessarily about the ingredients in them, it's just about that cooling effect, but caffeine really will help that's the one ingredient that you can look for in an eye cream to reduce puffiness. It also does help with dark circles as well. There's so many out there on the market, so pick your favorite. Just make sure you can look at the ingredients, and that caffeine is in the top usually four to five, so you know that it is in there at a good good level. Um, I do want to actually uh, talk to you about a few supplements that you can take. Obviously, when we're talking about supplements, we always want to talk to our uh, doctors first to make sure that they are appropriate for you. I am not a doctor. I cannot give out medical advice, but these are just supplements for you to say, hey, I have, um, you know, seasonal allergies or I have, oh, you know, um, you know, a lot of uh, puffiness in my face or my eye area. Is it okay for me to take these? And one, a couple of them are uh, to make sure you are having enough iron and B12. Sorry, I have my notes here. Iron and B12. And this also goes for under eye dark circles. Their cause of these dark circles and puffiness might be low iron and B12 or, you know, one or the other. And they basically, what's happening is there's poor oxygen, oxygenation in the body tissues and it uh, affects are shown mostly under the eye areas. And um, so you can talk to your doctor about that. I do personally get B12 shots probably every week if I can. Um, I love them. I've talked about them before. I really find them to be beneficial. They give me a bunch of other things besides nutrition, you know, the stuff that, I mean, they, my energy is so much better, but that might be something to look into. Um, also too, you might want to look into eating more foods with vitamin K. Uh, vitamin K is obviously found in broccoli, Brussels sprouts, leafy greens, 
uh, spinach and basically what this again does is helps blood circulation and coagulation and obviously overall body system health. And that's why actually a lot of vitamin uh, eye creams contain vitamin K and vitamin A for this reason um, because it helps with that. You know, you also just might want to check for things like food intolerances um, because that can also add to swelling over the face. But for me, mine is definitely allergy driven. <laughs> so anything for me to just calm, soothe, relax, um, you know, kind of give that depuffing effect through topical things that I do has really helped a lot. So I hope that these might help you along your journey in trying to reduce that puffiness and swellingness. Um, swelling is, is that a word? <laughs> um, in your, your face. And I think that, um, you know, they work for me. So I hope that they work for you as well. If you have any great remedies or tips, make sure that you leave them in, in the uh, comment section for all of the rest of our squad to read. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you on the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Mwah. Bye loves.